My dearest Amos, we are two vastly different individuals. We have completely different personalities and temperaments. You are always the more patient and kinder one. You are more adventurous, more light-hearted, and definitely the more punctual one. This inspires and influences me to be a better version of myself. You taught me to slow down and to look at the beauty of imperfections. Thank you for allowing me to seek comfort and refuge in you when I return home better. You let me take the full rein to chase after my dreams and I know you will always have my back. You've never stopped giving and I do not know what I have done to deserve you. Dear Apple, as a child, I was never the one to dream about my wedding day. Never did I envision the suit I'll be wearing, the woman that will be standing in front of me, the gown she'll be wearing and how beautiful she will look. I still remember that I had this unexpectable feeling of comfort and faith that I will one day find someone who adores, appreciates and loves me tirelessly. Now as I stand here today, I'm looking at a woman who is beyond anything I could ever ask for. A woman who is always kind-hearted and always had the purest of intention. But what I never could have imagined is a woman who loves me the way that you do. The way you love me is infectious and passionate and in doing so, you have found a way to this blockhead's heart. A way to always make me smile and a way to always make me feel safe. And you have always pushed me to be competent, to improve myself and to be a better person. Knowing Amos since secondary school, he is one of the most patient and family loving guy I ever met. She's fit, she's sociable, she's logical, she's ambitious and I admire her so much. I will not ask or remind you to treat her well because based on past few years' observation, I know you have been treating her the best. And to Apple, that also makes you the luckiest woman in this world. In challenging times, it is not us against each other, but us against the world. I promise that I will continue to work harder to translate this thing into actions. Life isn't perfect, and I'm sure the time we have ahead of us isn't, an, isn't smooth sailing entirely. I promise to stay by your side through the ebbs and flows of life. While I may not always be the most patient, I promise to support you in whatever you do. I aspire to build a home with you and I envision it to be a space where you can return to at the end of the day and be yourself. A space that shares your joy and sorrow. A space that lights up in the darkest of time. Our home will be a space that embodies our union and it will be uniquely ours. Today, I am so incredibly lucky and humbled to be wedded to you. I love you so much and I will love you to the end of time. I vow to love you just as much tomorrow as I do today. From the first time that we have met, you have brought me so much joy and happiness that I could have never imagined and I promise I will do the same for you. I love you.